I will. What? But I have a face for radio lies. My, <laughs> my line. Uh, okay, you are live and good to go. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. You're going to pop back, back in, right? Of course. Hey, Elsie. Hey, Chelsea. So, do you remember when Frozen came out and everybody was freaking out because Anna met a guy after one day, after like three hours, they were engaged? And everybody was like, no, you couldn't possibly do that. But she had also been in quarantine for like 10 years. You preaching? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first man I see is pretty much done. I'm going to lock this down six weeks. I'm crazy. <laughs> wow. And by lock it down, I mean like close up shop because I'm waiting till marriage. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm going to lock it down with a ring and just be like, we are doing this. Okay. I pay your son. Oh, Dave, please play that track. <laughs> <laughs> just going to lock it down. <laughs> uh... I love you. <laughs> I almost just, I gotta pop back on for a sec. I almost just totally screwed, I almost just totally screwed you guys up uh, because I forgot. Like I was, I've been doing stuff with people in Zoom uh, with like music and all that kind of stuff, and so I still have it on. I had because the software that we use, uh, you can either have it on manual so it stops after one song, or you can have it on queue so that it just keeps playing songs in the queue. Um, you guys, uh, your little theme song was about to get fired up uh, or followed up by Firestarter by Prodigy. Ah! So. <laughs> I'm fire starter. <laughs> I know that one. Nice. So how are you guys doing? Oh, episode yeah, 201. Oh, oh wow. Ahead. In the episode 200s. Did you ever watch Conan O'Brien and they would do it in the year 2000? That was like one of my favorite sketches of his. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> I'm doing, eh, how are you all? Um, I've, I've survived. We did uh, see, I mean, you guys know, like one of the big things with, with me and, and a lot of the stuff I do is I go to comic cons, <laughs> obviously as I sit here wearing my doctor who hockey Jersey uh, okay. and uh, they've all been canceled and they're all gone. And so I have had the stats oh. uh, and, uh, but penguin con, which is the one that we do every year, uh, which is always um, be like the last weekend. Right, we have, ugh, wow. And all I'm drinking is coffee. That's the sad part. Uh, the last weekend of <gasps> April. Me too. Um, and so they, <laughs> they had to cancel, but they went virtual. And so they actually did like a con all online this weekend. Uh, and it was like a lot of, so we did like a lot of zoom sessions going Facebook live with a lot of our presentations that we normally do. And like, we pulled Mike, uh, Zabsik and Ming Chen in to talk about nerd stuff and, and argue with them about things. And so, yeah, I mean, that was, and it, so it was, but I forgot, like, it's been so like, cause we're, I'm apparently I'm out of con shape. Uh, like I, I forget how exhausting it can do. It can be to like talk for 10 hours, like, and just, yeah. Whoa. Oh, I bet. I bet. I mean, that's why I'm shocked how Chelsea keeps up with online dating. I'm like, how do you do this? <laughs> You're just talking and texting with people. It takes a talent, I, I promise. I'm not, I'm not having fun with it anymore. Well, that's not true. I'm happy. But that's, that's a lie. That's, that's, <laughs> that's it. Cool. Show's canceled. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I actually have, I have three different guys to tell you stories about right now. I, Girl! I, I, <laughs> I actually gotta be that. fun with it, but I have three sooner. <laughs> Well, and I'm, I'm not enjoying it at all, but there's these three guys. <laughs> Do we get to vote on them? <laughs> One's already gone, so, but I just... <laughs> you know like what? It ain't for the week. It ain't for the week. I those, like, long, week. those long, skinny microphones that they used to use, like, on the old <gasps> game show. <laughs> Yes, Bob like, Barker. Montreal, hey, do you want guy number one, guy number two, or guy number three? And then you're like, right? did you just say my gyno's here? No. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> what was the one show? No, the original Family Feud. That always freaked me out because the host, like, kissed all of the guests. Oh, Richard Dawson, and, like, everyone biggest was perv cool on the planet. It. Yeah, Richard Dawson, biggest perv on the planet. God bless him. Oh, and so the funny oh. thing is, if you, at the same time that was going on, watch the old, um, it's not Hollywood Square, Match Game. Oh, uh, match game. I mean, first off, I love the old match game because oh, Betty White's on it. Oh, yeah. That. Well, and Richard Dawson is always yeah. on it. Always. And like every girl, every female contestant is all about Richard Dawson every single yeah, time. Really? And you're like, and it's one of those things where you're like, 
maybe I maybe I would have had a better shot in the seventies. Like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've said I wish I was like of age in the 70s because I feel like that would have been my prime. <laughs> prime. Oh, I Mr. Love the Dawson. Prime. prime. <laughs> How do you like your rib? Prime. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, um, no, everything's been going good. I, try, I made uh, my very first loaf of bread today. Was it banana or just like? No, just like a loaf of bread, like Italian. Like, yeah. <gasps> you know, Jean Valjean went to jail because he stole one of those. <laughs> just didn't know if he knew that America. Stacy saw it like this and is now just blown away. And now away. she knows. Uh <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Gina <laughs> Oh, gosh. So, wait, okay, um, Italian bread? That sounds delicious. Yeah, it was, and everything, everything went okay. I think I just need to try a different recipe because it was a little dense. So we'll see. Well, I I, maybe I didn't. Attracted to me. Maybe I didn't prove it long enough, British Bake people. But <laughs> prove it. Yeah, I'm gonna make a joke about Chelsea making some thick bread, but I figured that would. Be... <laughs> right, oh, I don't get it. Right there, it is. That's pretty much the joke. <laughs> oh, that's over my head. I don't get that. <laughs> You get, that'll be my v, VWQ later. You can explain <laughs> it to me because I don't get it at all. I'm like, um, but last week we were, Stacey and I were doing um, the, the year 2000 recap. Side note, that entire CD, Chelsea's Summer Jams, 2003 Summer Jams mix. Yes. Um, totally plays, only one song skips. So. <gasps> That's amazing. I feel like the way our parents were like with automobiles now where they're like, back in my day, we had real cars. They weren't flimsy and they didn't break. I'm like, way to go, CDs. <laughs> like, you know, that's real tough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to post the link of the song on Spotify. Stacey's going <gasps> to And then I'll link it to the show for where people listen. You can listen to my Chelsea's 2003 Summer Girl Jams. Fantastic. Thank you for all of those that stream us on Spotify, but you can always find us on iTunes or Apple Podcasts, I should say, as well. And Stitcher, maybe? All the places. Everywhere, all the places. Everywhere fine podcasts are sold. That's our that's our running line. That's yes. Yeah. Oh, I, like it. I adore it. It's funny, Charles, because I was doing some cleaning and I found some burn CDs. I've not played them yet, but they were from college, not from 2000, because where I worked at my, uh, my college's cafeteria, so we had a great time. I worked with the cooks in the back of the kitchen. It was great. And so we made a GIP mix, the Get It Poppin' mix. So all of those, like, all of those, like, nasty, grinding, all of those songs, we had part one, part While two, While you were preparing remix. people's meals, you were getting poppin'. We were not. We listened to WJLB, <laughs> but then afterwards we're, we would talk about songs where like we really need to like make a compilation of some sort. So then we did. <laughs> but we have GIP one, the original, GIP two, the remix, and GIP three, the trilogy. <laughs> Stop. Three separate CDs. I have not played them yet, but I'm nervous. <laughs> like. And I already no, know. No, because like, this is definitely before you were saved, as you like to say, even though you've always been a good Christian girl. And it's so good to me. Get you, get you a Chelsea. Get you one. So you true. can't have mine. No, you can be friends with her. She's not like <laughs> as much as me. <laughs> My territorial she, all of a sudden. <laughs> are you, are you going to say your territorial when you bring up other friends and I get mad every time? <laughs> oh, what was it? Like, you were talking about other friends. I'm like, you didn't invite me to the Hocus Pocus party. All four of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, terrible. But anyway, we have some questions left from our 2000s game. We do. And we figured since we were continuing, we would use the same show for our... Sing it. Oh, me? Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing I loved it. So last week it was ER. So we're going to keep it going because there's still a ton of names. Hey, super shouts out to all of our essential employees, whether medical workers, grocery stores, delivery, transportation, all of that. Yes, we keep you in our prayers. You are awesome. Thank you for all that you do. So ER. Yes. ER. Um, 
not how the theme song went. Honestly, no. I don't even know how the theme song there went. There wasn't really a theme song. That's the thing. It was more, if I can remember correctly, I think it was just instrumental with some like flashing lights. Ooh. Some might call them emergency lights. <laughs> <laughs> flashing. Light. All I pictured was Kanye West, which also with that song, it's got like kind of a slow, like a little bit of a halftime feel. And my cousin, Nurse Lily Jarvik, always said that she, she's like, I feel like that song was made to be like, if it was played like at twice the speed, it would be like a club banger. So sure enough, we played it at twice the speed. Totally a banger. Totally a banger. Do it. Listen, America. Go on Apple Music or Spotify. Listen to Flashing Lights. Play double the speed. Uh, 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 uh. Don't bless your life. See, but Don't then it sounds like a Justin Timberlake song. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> he brought sex Listen. back. I don't want, yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm for Justin Timberlake. I just don't want to make Kanye mad. <laughs> oh, I mean, listen, the man's, the, man, the man's a billionaire. So what, what's wrong um, with collaborating so last, and making more money? When, <laughs> when we last left our questions, um, we were saying, did you go to any concerts? And I was talking about the Kringle Jingle. And <laughs> Which was the best lineup I'd ever heard. <laughs> I'm like, is that like the Grammys? What is that? It was so good. And Amazing. I remember, I remember I went, it was my mom, um, I need three girl names. Um, do you want your mom to have a name too, or just your mom? Yeah, we'll just call my mom and then two more girl names. Alrighty. We had Carrie Weaver. <laughs> we had, I don't know if it's Chunny or Chuni Marquez. Ding. Okay. So those and, two. Oh, okay. I just did, yeah. So, so Carrie mom, and Chuni, C-H-U-N-Y. I'm going to call it Chunny. I feel like it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Carrie and Chunny and I went Thank with you. my mom went to the Kringle Jingle. And we, um, like maybe, maybe an hour before we left, I just started not feeling good. And on the drive to the palace, um, I got like a really bad fever to the point that while we were in the, in the auditorium or in the concert um i was wearing everyone's coats because <gasps> I was that cold. <laughs> like Chelsea. all of a sudden my mom turns to me and she goes why are you wearing everything right now <laughs> <laughs> which is also the greatest thing a parent could ever say to their teenage child like why are you super covered also what my mother said to me <laughs> <laughs> and i was like oh i'm just cold and just like it is extremely warm in here and then she touched my forehead and was like, you idiot. Like, <laughs> so then we had to go into the back. We had to go to the back. We had to find the EMTs that are walking around the place. They, and then they gave me some Tylenol and then they checked my temperature and they were like, you really should go home. And I started crying because we hadn't seen pink yet. And Hello. <laughs> yes. I've been like, so well, let me so JZ. <laughs> but also pink <laughs> and so we walked back out and by the time I got back to the by the time we got back to our seats like the it had kicked in enough that I didn't even have to wear everyone else's jacket anymore I just wore mine so like my fever was down enough but then I was sick for like three days after get out of here listen yeah, priorities we, I would have been like we're here awesome. now <laughs> if someone could just if I fall asleep if someone could just like prop me up and then I'll wake up and I'll be like oh my gosh pink style Man. <laughs> um did you I'm go to any you made it though right did you go to any sporting events Stace? so my thanks to my brother i was always into the nba at that time like growing up nowadays like i'm awful i need to get better at sports so but yeah my group of friends that i hung out with we were obsessed with watching the pistons like we would have parties at each other's houses bake a cake and then watch the Pistons game, or while watching the Pistons game, um, Tayshawn Prince was Bay. I thought he was the best. I thought he was so cute. I just thought he looked like, if you saw him, I just pictured, like, if he wasn't in basketball, he'd be wearing khakis and a polo, and just, like, a good old, you know, just good old, like, guy next door, going to work every day, but it's like, nah, dude can hoop. So, <laughs> oh, I loved him, and also- Oh my god, who was, because he was, what was his number? Do you remember? 
I think the jersey's in the closet over there, actually. Stop. I'm really curious. Listen. Well, okay, because there was Take number one was, I can't remember his, Chauncey. Chauncey. Number one was Chauncey Billups. He was my, he was, Chauncey was my man. And then yes. number three was the guy with the really good arms. The thing Ooh. is, guys, what you need to know, Ben, Ben? Come on, 22. 22. Come on, 22. <laughs> yes. Real one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I went to a, a Christmas game because that was when the Pistons were huge. Like they were really, Hello. and um, I made a sign that said, all I want for Christmas is number one, Chance Phillips, number two, a puppy, number three, and then whatever teammate was number three. I want to say it was Ben Wallace, but that could be wrong. Oh, and, maybe. <laughs> and then I, and then I wrote, up. thanks dad. <laughs> <the bottom. laughs> and I dad, I'm a man. It's so funny that you say that because, um, what my dad, he goes out, this is brilliant by the way. So my dad goes out with his group of friends and they call themselves the Romeos and it stands for retired old men eating out. So they, <laughs> so they always meet up at a restaurant. I'm like, this is hysterical. <laughs> Who came up with this acronym? But so since they haven't been able to meet up, they just do a Zoom call every week. And so they were chatting, they were chatting with the one, um, his name is Peter Benton. Ding. So Peter Benton, like him, and my dad, like they very much just like have like a very like jabbing type of banter back and forth. It's just their friendship. It's always been that way. And so um, he was talking about how, what was it? Like his coworker or something like that may have to go back to his country because he's on a work visa and the way things have been lately they don't know if his if his um job or if his contract's going to be extended and they're just like we think he's pretty wealthy well hey stacy's dad like don't you have a daughter that isn't married she could just like married her and it would be fine my dad's like first of all last i checked my daughter really wanted a basketball player so no <laughs> No, it's just like, Dad, like, the Dwight Howard ship sh sailed, like, 10 years ago, but thank you for sticking up for me. <laughs> like, also Tayshawn Prince, so, you know. <laughs> right, I feel like he's very, I don't know, I always picture Tayshawn Prince in, like, khakis and a polo, just like, y'all don't really? know the swag that's underneath this polo. <laughs> I don't know why, but I appreciate my dad. I never pictured him that way. I always just saw him. I think, I think, yeah, I think he wouldn't be caught dead in a polo, man. <laughs> I feel like in an alternative life, if he wasn't a basketball player, oh, that's... Well, that doesn't count. <laughs> well, that's what I said in the beginning. Listen, <laughs> Paul, don't lie. Yes, Tayshaun. Also, my friend, um, Nurse Adams, her mother, <laughs> she had said what we were doing in high school, having a Pistons party, so we baked a cake, and we were watching that, and she was just like, Tayshaun, that's an interesting name. So then, like... The quarter goes by, you know, commercial break, all that stuff. And she was just like, you know what? I wonder if his name, if his mother's name was Shantae and she only had a son. So then she named him Tayshawn. <laughs> We're like, what? like you've been thinking about this for the last 20 minutes? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not mad at that theory at all. <laughs> so that's what I need to Google. What is his mother's name? Is it Shantae? Because if so, that's phenomenal. <laughs> if, right? If so, then that was like, gosh, buy a lottery ticket. You're winning. Um, <laughs> so back in the year 2000, Stacey, how did you do your hair? Listen. What was so your hair? I, so <laughs> number one, my hair was always straight. I had a relaxer for 20 years of my life before coming back in tune with my delicious curliness that I really didn't know that existed because I had a relaxer since fourth grade. So for as long as I can remember, it's always been straight. So and it's funny because my cousin, um, Doris Pickman, uh, she would always say, she always had curly hair and I would always say, if I had naturally curly hair, I'd be set for life. Well then as I transition to natural, I'm like, shut up. I have naturally curly hair. Who knew? But anyways, I Everyone. always had my hair in a high <laughs> ponytail. What'd you say? Everyone knew. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was in the suburbs and I didn't know. And I remember one time trying to get the Rachel haircut. And I was just like, I don't want this. Just scratch it. <laughs> I'm like, just keep it one even layer. But um, in junior high, I got the worst haircut of my life where I asked for layers and the guy snipped it here. And then the rest was still past my shoulder. So it looked like a grown out mullet. 
So at that point, I always kept my hair in a high ponytail because you couldn't tell the difference in the length because there was just like a little bit of hair that stuck out from the elastic um, hair tie. So I just kept with that throughout high school. Like even like pretty in, much all through high school. Yeah, even in my like senior pictures, like my hair was always in a ponytail. The only time you wore your hair down that I can like think of is uh, junior year Halloween. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because I wanted to cover the back of my neck. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, such an artist. <laughs> um, Chelsea, what did you do with your hair? I'm quite curious. <laughs> okay, so my hair was actually a decent length Agreed. in ninth grade. Um, and then 10th grade came, and right before we left for Florida, which. Oh. Yeah, so that was 2000. Yeah, so right yes. before we left, I <laughs> wish I could describe. I actually found a picture and saved it to my phone, but I'm on my phone right now for the Zoom call, so I can't show you guys. Um, I'm loving your background, by the way. Is that the Cliffs of Moore? That is. Mm. Yes, also, that is beautiful. Right. We're going to get married there. <laughs> Not specifically there, but, like, somewhere near there. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> they, I, I went and decided I wanted my hair to be, like, a deep, kind of like it is now with this deep part. And then this side went to, like, here. <gasps> oh. And then that side was just able to go behind the ear. And then the back of my head was basically shaved. And I had that sounds very '90s, by the way. And I, oh, super, super. And I had two barrettes that would sit right here. And I remember that I loved it for like three weeks. And then, <laughs> and then, do you remember, Stacey? We like because we hung out on that Florida trip. Like, yes. When we were walking around Florida, it rained like crazy, and we were the only people who weren't going to pay like nine dollars for some Mickey Mouse rain poncho. Right. And, but because we did that, all of our stuff smelled like dirty Florida water. Yep. And I just remember looking at all the pictures and my hair is just this long and just <laughs> stuck to my head. There's a picture of us on, um, like, on Auntie from Honey, yes. I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> and you got the Donald... The duck bun. The duck yes, bun. That was, like, your brother's haircut. <laughs> You're a weird kid. <laughs> that is awesome. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and so I had that. And then from that point on, I didn't cut my hair pretty much at all until um senior year and by that time my hair was like almost to almost to the nip Ooh. <laughs> I guess I should call it mermaid hair instead of boob hair like <laughs> no but I'm with you we both call it boob hair yeah, yeah. um <laughs> did you wear makeup in high school Stacey N so first <laughs> answer <laughs> nah <laughs> but then I did buy one thing of like that sparkly gel or whatever from what I don't know was it from Bath and Body Works I don't know like I went to the mall with a friend probably you and you're like oh, I should buy this I was like okay but I never wore makeup never. um I in general did not wear makeup like I do now like like at all that wasn't the look then um yeah. like <laughs> like eyebrows that wasn't a thing there were no eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that we removed them. Some people removed them, but like, I just didn't do anything. So I just didn't have eyebrows. So it was just like, I <laughs> have a very large forehead and I have too big of eyes for it. It was just not great. And then everybody, I was obsessed with inner eye eyeliner. So I was just like crazy eyelinered out, no mascara. Cause I didn't care. <laughs> and then sometimes I would put glitter on my eyeshadow, like for those true color glitters. Do you remember those? no there was a kiosk in the mall and it was literally just these no. little twist on like little plastic things and the entirety of it was all different color glitters and I probably had like 15 of them and I want to say that they were like nine bucks a piece they were not cheap <laughs> like, also I was just having this conversation with uh, my friend real friend Alexa hey happy birthday and well, we were talking about just like stuff from high school because that's when I met her because your girl was a nerd and was a uh, VP of the theater department and was also on the state thespian board of Michigan, the state student 
thespian board of Michigan. And that's where I met my dear friend, Alexa. So I was talking to her the other day and we we're talking about stuff from high school. And I was just like, girl, I was rich. <laughs> and she was just kind of like, okay, considering she went to like a much, like we went to a nice high school, but hers was like very fancy in my opinion. They played lacrosse. So they were very fancy in my opinion. <laughs> and so I was like, can I just qualify my statement? I was like, I was rich because I had no bills. <laughs> like, like we went out to eat several well, right. times a week because we were balling because we had no bills. Right. Like, when we started, when, when Chelsea got me my first job, this was after high school, at the mall together, I would use one paycheck a month, to be quite honest. And then I'd be like, oh, I guess I should deposit this other one before it expires because we have no bills. <laughs> it was amazing. Right. Oh, memories. <laughs> What's yeah. up, pores? <laughs> I said to myself. <laughs> Just picture me with like an offensive amount of eyeliner and a very short, 90s 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 haircut so i do have a question about that chels because yeah. i remember you saying something about oh remember when everyone wore white eyeliner i was like first of all no second of all huh? junior high. <laughs> what junior high oh, so I didn't know. my my hairstyle of choice in junior high was to take all of my hair into a high pony slick it back so tight and so hard, there were no bumps. Like this, this when messy buns came in, I had a physical rejection to it. Like, <laughs> which is my current like favorite hairstyle. Whenever I have long like box totally braids, I love a messy bun. And, and I have definitely grown into it. But when it first hit, I was like, no "But there's right. bumps. Like <laughs> why? Yeah, oh. because we literally would brush our hair back so tight, and then we would take not aerosol hairspray, pump air spray or hairspray." and plaster it down so that it was so tight. It looked like it was a different color than your ponytail because it was darker and hard. There was one, and then I would do basically the eyeliner I have now, which is a nice little, a nice little wing. Your just eyes a do subtle look fabulous. Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, and except I would do that in white. Interesting. Yeah, and the thing is, is it wasn't just me. Like, all of us did it. It did not make a single bit of sense. And the only time I stopped doing that ponytail was, well, you weren't wearing makeup, girl. <laughs> I, I, just, I just wanted to clarify for America that I was not a part of that. Daisy was wearing glasses. She thought she was, she was above all of that. Also, but let's thank Such God you weren't wearing white eyeliner. Like, cause like, it's bad enough on my face, yes, but like, can you imagine just a big white ass line on your face? Like, you did put like a sea green. Oh my God. I yes, and that was... Because it matched my the stripes in my <laughs> yellow and sea green striped and shirt. Like, mm, this is the moment when you realize as somebody who's like likes to play with makeup, you need to play with makeup with people who have different complexions than you, so that you don't go, oh, this is what I do on me. Clearly, that's going to work for Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when I was in um, our other good friend from high school, um, Abby Lockhart, but I was in her wedding. And so she was talking about, you know, Oh, like if everyone could get their deposit together for the makeup and whatnot, I was just like, let me talk to you. I'm like, so you have a makeup person and the only black person in your wedding party, do they know what they're doing? She's just like solid point. I'm like, okay, I need you to ask her before we all show up to get our makeup right. done. Cause if she doesn't know, then they need to bring in someone. If it costs a little extra, I don't want to pay extra. Cause you also just know what to do for different people's complexions. But regardless, let me know. But the girl did a phenomenal job. And I feel like maybe she went to our high school. Like in that moment, I was like, did she go there? But she didn't say anything to me. So I didn't say anything to her, but she did a fabulous job. Love it. Um, Loving it. What was your favorite, uh, what was your favorite TV show from the 2000s? So, dude, I watched a lot of cartoons still. Like, it's just like, I know I was like stressed out with my teenage angst at the time. So I feel like cartoons was just like my happy place. Let me go back to a simpler time. So if we start with adult shows. Will and Grace was high on my rotation. The original, 100%. not the reboot. And then um, for drama, because VP, hey, uh, whose line is it anyways? Like my dad Love. and I would watch those two shows together. And then cartoons. So I would watch Recess, <laughs> which was an awesome cartoon. And then The Weekenders. And also with The Weekenders, like Wayne Brady totally sang the theme song. And like, dude just gets down. <laughs> so it was, it was enjoyable. And at one point, well, I know junior high, I would watch Arthur before. <laughs> 
going to school. Because <laughs> it would come on at like 7.30. So it'd be two 15-minute episodes. So like I'd watch the one 7.30 to 7.45 and then I'd have to leave and go to school because this bell rang at like 8.05. <laughs> Arthur! Yes! And I said, hey! Hey! <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I promise I'm not judging you. I watched the Disney Channel for a very long time. And, like, and it was just, like, especially, like, Disney original movies. Ooh. I watched a lot of those. Like, so when Disney none Plus of them. came out, when Disney Plus came out and it was, like, all of them were there, I was like, oh, wait, what? Like, <laughs> Um, but my favorite show was Friends. My favorite show really still is Friends. Um, and I remember, because it came out, it, like, by that point, my parents were like, yeah, you're watching Friends. It comes out on Thursdays. We get it. Um, <laughs> we get but it. But, like, Fine. when it first came out, I was pretty young. I, I want to say it came out in 2000, or in 1994. Mm. And... It was around the same time Living Single came out because they were I, up against I literally was like, Mom, I want to watch the show. Like, let me watch the show. Everybody watches the show. And she was like, okay, I'm going to watch the show and then I'll tell you if you can watch it. And of course, the episode that popped up is the one where Rachel and Ross do it in the freaking museum and like that sexy song comes on that like, I want to fall in love with you. And I literally was like, that's not what the show is. <laughs> Like, and anything wrong, you know, your mom, I would have been like, perfect, done. <laughs> like, literally, I was like, it's, it's not about that. Like, Joey doesn't share food, and like, it's funny. And That's the same party. episode? Literally, no, no. But, oh. but like, <laughs> side note um, Kelly Clarkson had jo uh, Matt LeBlanc, who plays Joey, on the show, and they did like a quiz thing against each other. And he has such a like, memory that like he got every single question right he hit it faster than everybody else because he's super competitive and the guy he was like paired up with like he paused he goes you've seen the show right like it was hilarious so fully recommend how it. old is he is he single like you should write him an email or send him a dm <laughs> i don't know if he's single i don't know how old he is actually um but he definitely has silver hair it's pretty foxy yeah i think he's a silver fox definitely 100 oh, percent and hey. um he would hate dating me because I'm so obsessed with Joey. He'd be like, yeah, once again, my name's Matt. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I never thought about that. Um, but yeah, listen, the year 2000 was great for us, I think, yes. honestly. Yes. We had a good time. We got to, we got to travel to Florida. <laughs> Hello. Twice, right? Did we go twice? Well, yeah, but the first time was in 2000. Okay, that's all I was saying. Well, you said good time in high school. That's why. Yeah. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, and, also, last question. What was your AOL messenger name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yours was GS Bouncer for E, right? What? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! Which stood for the great... Stacy B or the great sexy B. Listen, that's just where my mind went. I was like, there's so many GSBs. <laughs> it was bouncer because I liked basketball. I wasn't necessarily good at playing it, but I um, was a bench warmer on the team. Thank you. I, I love that I pulled that out. I, um, and then mine is, is I, I know yours. I, yeah, you know mine for sure. You okay. Know. You can yeah. say it. Okay, I didn't know if it was a secret, but it was Giglet, like, I think it was 101. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I remember literally, like, my dad being like, you have to create an email, and then you'll have this AIM thing, and I was like, oh, God, what am I going to pick? And my brother, my little brother picked um, this crazy word, and my dad was like, well, that seems silly, but he still uses it, so I'm going to save that for him. And then nice. I looked up at this doll that was... Because you have to understand, like, that was, what, like, seventh grade when, like, the internet really yeah. became a thing. And so... Wi-Fi like, didn't exist, children. <laughs> no, you dial up. It's a whole thing you don't understand and you don't care about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when my parents tried to explain, like, eight-track tapes to me. I was like, I don't care. It's gone. So <laughs> <laughs> Give them the nostalgia they're looking for. Like, oh, back in my day, you're like, I don't care. Like, it's gone. Get a CD. <laughs> 
So <laughs> maybe that's why my parents were so harsh with me whenever I had an ex boyfriend. I'm like, but it was so great. They're like, no one cares. It's in the past. <laughs> but like, they, we, <laughs> Makes so much sense now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like nobody cares. Dial up was a thing, but like I literally looked up and on the like tag of this doll that was randomly like clipped onto my mirror for some, and I don't know on the tag that was across its back, its booty, it said Giglet, and I was like, cool, that's my name. And my dad was like, they suggest that you put some numbers after it, and I was like, uh, well, 101 Dalmatians, so. Oh, 100% that's how it was so <laughs> it's so funny I was still in that same creative mind frame when we went to college and you needed to create your unique name and so mine was mine was Coco Star spelled C-O-C-O-S-T-A-R yeah. <laughs> I can't even tell you why but, but my dad <laughs> told me we went it was just me and him that did a road trip to a family reunion and the DJ was, the DJ name was like Coco Star, because like, I'm not the co star, I'm like the Coco Star. And I thought that was hysterical. But so that's what, what a, I chose. What a sad like <laughs> moment in your brain that you're like, I'm not the star, I'm not the co star, I'm the Coco Star. Like, you made that your college name. <laughs> I know. So it's hilarious because everyone else um, was, it was some ma- mashup of their first name and their last yeah, name. Yeah, that was my and then there's, get a choice. And then there was me, Coco Star. And it's like, wait, what? And I'm just like, you, you heard me. I you're like, hi, I'm Stacy. And they're like, your name's not Coco. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you get to know me. <laughs> um, well, listen, let me tell you what happened this week. Oh, <gasps> I have stories. What, listen, so, you said there's like a couple of bachelors, so. Yes. Okay, so let me update what's going on with. Norwegian guy who speaks French. What should we call him, Stace? Ooh, I'm liking Nurse Malik McGrath. Ding. Okay, so Nurse Malik sent me a message the other day, and he was like, hey, um, so obviously we're all still in this quarantine thing. It is hard. I'm not, I am going a little stir crazy. And it is hard when, like, you've been talking to somebody for weeks, and you haven't had that chance to, like, connect like (laughs) I get it I'm on the same page but he was like you need to come over like I want you to come over like let's get to know each other and I was like cool but here's the thing so my parents who I (laughs) you guys know I live with my parents but (laughs) we made that decision for (laughs) quarantine (laughs) but um my when I'm when I'm talking to dating with people I call them my roommates I'm not going to not tell them at some point it's just it is a really pretty big red flag (laughs) so like I'm just trying to hide that (laughs) listen I have been like before I go to bed realtor.com what up is my bedtime story because I'm just like okay prices are dropping like maybe when we come out of this thing we about to move out (laughs) dropping except taxes are gonna be just as high but oh I know (laughs) oh I know oh yeah and believe me it's know that if you end up living in Detroit you also have to pay Detroit income taxes on your paycheck like that's a whole extra thing that's stupid oh I know oh I know (laughs) So anyways, so he's like, Ooh, you need to look at that. Out. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> he's like, you need to come over. You need to do this whole thing. Like, and I was like, listen, um, my roommates and I have made, had a discussion about this. And like, I need to respect the fact that this is their space too. And even though I trust you and I'm getting to know you, like I, they don't know you. So by me going to see you, I'm bringing your germs and everyone else who you've met into my house. And that's not fair to my roommates who have already explicitly asked this also this so, is, these are the same rules i imagine that people have about stds <laughs> like right. everyone that you have been with you are bringing to my house to my <laughs> temple and i don't want that so he's we have like, to be protective so now before like, we have when you that, go outside that. you're going outside with everyone who's ever been outside with the people exactly. you've been outside with <laughs> thank you day so like we, before that whole thing even started, he, he mentioned that he wanted me to come over and I was like, great, you know, I, I can come over, but like, I, I want to come over too, but it's just, it's not going to happen. And he was like, also, well, and he got a little de- defensive and he was like, well, it's not like we're going to have sex. We, he's been very open. He's on an antidepressant that is, um, a inhibitor of sex drive. 
So, oh. um, so he's been very honest about that. And he's like, and, he, and I was like, oh, okay. That's a little disappointing for me because I do not have a limited sex drive, but they- I was going to say you are sexy. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> I, I like to have sex too. So <laughs> sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag sorry, Dad. So <laughs> also um, hashtag what up, bro? Happy birthday, May first. <laughs> so he um so he he had mentioned he goes well we're not gonna have sex and then he was like <laughs> he goes they upped my my antidepressant meds and then I couldn't really get my dick to work and so I was jerking off a lot and I and now it's all like rug burned <laughs> and I was like oh that's a lot of information uh Malik thing. Uh, <laughs> and I was like okay well and then what do you say to it so the only thing I could say is wow it sounds like you need to get some lube because like what are you doing like you can't just like like you basically gave your dick a charlie horse like <laughs> wait what oh so that so happened. Many questions and concerns. <laughs> so that happened. Us. And then he was like, and then he kind of flipped and he was like, I don't even know why I'm asking you to come over. Like you only are interested in me for sex. And I was like, what gave you that impression? Because I'm not watching the like, movie together. <laughs> like, right? And then he was like, there wasn't no, a I hole in a shared be- popcorn bucket. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just in my head about this. You just don't seem to like be interested in me sexually. And I was like, so what is it? Am I not interested in you sexually, or am I only interested in you for sex? Because like in the exact same minute, you've said both. And um, and then I was like, hang on, let me step away from my roommates. <laughs> so I go upstairs and I Facetime him because like I want to see his reaction. Yes. I don't want the text thing. So, and plus I had makeup on, so. <laughs> so. Listen, you don't have to, what, when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. <laughs> so This he, did I, not stay ready. <laughs> so I call him, and the first thing he says when I answer, when he answers the phone is he's like, oh my gosh, I like forget how gorgeous you are. And I was like, well, that's very sweet. Thank you. But like, what the hell's going on, you know? And he's like, well, and I, I, I do kind of get that him being on the antidepressant, the way that his body responds to it, I guess, is like, and it's not just him. I've definitely had some people, it, I'm not, I'm not blanketing antidepressant reactions. I'm just saying, I have seen it before where people's kind of, their filter, their self filter is like not there because, and I don't want to say because they care less, but a little bit like they care less so that therefore they have, they don't see the issue with telling someone that they've only like, that they, that they haven't met, <laughs> that, that they've rubbed their penis raw. <laughs> oh. So I was like, so what's even going on? Like, what? And he's just like, I just don't understand. Like, you won't, you won't come over here. That doesn't make any sense. That's when I said the whole thing about my parents and my roommates being respectful, all that stuff. I'm like, it's, I, I don't live by myself. It's a shared space. Then it became pretty clear to me he'd been drinking. Oh, and, no. Yeah, Wait, drink- well on. Yeah. And no, and he said they upped his whatever yeah, for is yeah. it? No, so, no. In my view, like you're gonna live your life, you're gonna do what you need to do. But like, from my perspective, you're making not great choices now. But um, not a good cocktail. Yeah, it's just not great. So then he starts, and he's like, "You don't even understand." Like he's like, "I'm a scientist. I work with the coronavirus." And then he gets his arm all up in my. Um, in the screen of my of my phone, and he's like, "Do you see this? This is where they took the blood. I don't have a coronavirus, and it's rude that you think you do. And you said you should just come over." And I was like, "But," and I let him say the whole thing, and then I was like, "But you're not hearing me. It's not just me. It's being respectful of the people that I live with." And I'm like, "I, yeah, I've, I'm not saying I don't want to come over. I've said that several times. I would like to come over, but." And he goes, you just need to let your, you're letting your roommates control your life and you're not giving me the chance to love you. Like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, ooh, mm, see, now here's the thing. Flashback to like the year 2003, 2004, I dated an, an extremely manipulative person. He cheated on me pretty much nonstop. And every time I called him out on it, he would be like, why are you, what kind of a person accuses the person they love of cheating? Like, do you not trust me? What's wrong with you? Like, and it got to the point where I would apologize. And I literally felt 
that kind of manipulative pressure mm. from what's his name Marquise today or something like that Malik and nurse Ma Malik McGrath Malik popping pills and so Taking and shots. so I kind of felt that and I kind of shut down because he went on this entire tangent about how the Republicans are telling us to stay inside and I was like I I don't think you know political leanings aside and you know all that nonsense that happened in Lansing like really I think right. everybody's just on either side of the spectrum it's like maybe we should just stay home like <laughs> I found it today that my neighbor two doors down had it like two doors down from my house like you don't know who's got it like and just so you can just go over there and then go over to nurse Malik's house and then right. when he comes down with it you can be like hey by the way BT yeah. dubs <laughs> So I sat there, I let him say his whole tangent, and then it ended with him, like, being like, you're not, like, <laughs> um, he said, you need to get in the car and drive to me right now, or you're, or you're, or you're just showing me that you're not willing to let me love you, like, or this what? is it, and I sat there, and I was like, and I was like, you're not being really respectful of what I'm saying, and he goes, I hope you and your roommates are very happy, and he hung up on me. How old is he? 41! Yeah, age doesn't cure stupid, though. So, oh, ooh, that's a word. You've got uh, one, one, one of my friends has uh, started watching. Hi, Greg. Uh, and, and his <laughs> only comment was, uh, rug burn. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, so I had I, no idea this was a thing. So then I'm, I'm annoyed because I really see this. Then he sends me a message. Um, and he's like, and he does the, like, I'm going to say I'm sorry, but you're not actually apologizing for anything, for anything. He's like, I'm sorry, but you're obsessed with your roommate's opinions, and it doesn't give me, leave me enough room to love you. And <laughs> Are you still drunk? <laughs> and if this relationship is going to work, you need to commit Dang. to us. And, <laughs> and, I, and then he's like, I'm sorry I cut you off, but I just couldn't hear it anymore. So I responded, and I said, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Like, I wish I had my phone ability to pull it up because I was really, I think, succinct about it. But I basically was like, I was like, I was like, by me stating my opinion, like, it doesn't make my opinion wrong. It doesn't make your opinion wrong. It's, but it is a separate opinion. Like, it's just, it's different. And I have every right to have that. You have every right to have yours. But like, just by me disagreeing with you, you hung up on me. There's the problem. And I'm like, I'm done talking about this today. If you want, we can talk about it tomorrow. Have a good night. And then he, because also, Good. by the way, he, he messaged me at 8.30 and he lives an hour away from me. So, like, by the time I get to him, it's 9.30. By the time, like, I'm like, excuse me, I am not a 9.30 chick. I am a 5.30 with dinner chick, okay? Mm, <laughs> yes. But also, like, brunch, we discussed this, how, like, brunch dates are phenomenal because it's just right, like, listen, let's right. wake like, up and get some waffles. Mm. No, but, like. 8.30 and you're calling me means that you don't have any intention of taking me and anywhere. You're bored. Like and you're bored. Exactly. So it's like, so then he sent me another text message after I sent that. And he was like, I was listening to what you were saying. I just don't agree with it. You just don't, you just don't understand our love or something like that. And I was like, mm, and I wanted to respond to, and I had the thing to say because, oh, it was the, because I took my roommate's side in our argument um it made him feel small and my response to that would have been i'm not responsible for your feelings you can feel however you want to like i'm not responsible to make you happy i'm not responsible to make you sad i'm not my your feelings are owned by you and you alone same with mine mm -hmm. like your, i can be disappointed in your actions you can be disappointed in mine but how you feel at the end of the day is on you boo bye-bye so <laughs> she said boo okay <laughs> <laughs> you just tapped into something. <laughs> so um, the next day I texted him and I said, hey, did you want to talk about it? And I didn't get anything. He actually like immediately read it and left me on read. And I was like, ooh, just salty, like drama, nonsense. And I got the In his that 40s, I, though. In his 40s, yeah. And then the next day I sent a message. I was like, okay, point, uh, like hint taken. Good luck out there by and he immediately read that and then like the dots came up like he was gonna say something and then they went away ellipses and, ellipses panic <laughs> yeah it was basic because like what are you gonna say at that point you got butt hurt about something that's not that doesn't make sense and like 
and you know that because you were drunk and like and you don't want to admit that you were wrong and that's fine you don't have to admit that you're wrong i hope you find somebody in the long run who's willing to put up with your bullshit because it ain't me so i secretly <laughs> wonder don't get mad i secretly wonder if so he finally got sober and it was just like crap i really ruined this and didn't want to own up to it so that's why he just called it quits totally no 100 percent. okay he's just, no that's what i mean when i say like he's he's not gonna sit there and be like wow you're right like i took this the wrong way because right because that guy is never gonna admit that he's wrong i've dated that guy i will never date that guy again right yo i'm not saying give him a second chance don't do that nah. no no, no. I'll um, be curious. Then, <laughs> I'll be curious when we're not on lockdown anymore. If he responds back, I'll be curious to see if that funny. happens. Um, so the other guy, his name is Jerry Markovic. Jerry Markovic. So Jerry Markovic, I was on Tinder last night and because sent me a notification that was like, it's a swipe sweep or something like aggressive. It's a and swipe like, sweep. And I was like, I, I don't know. Okay. And then I was like, okay. So it this is shot. terrible. All I'm thinking of is my niece, my nephew, my niece, love Dora the Explorer and like swipey, like swiper the fox. They're like, swipey, no swipey. And so I'm like, well, what's going on? And then I'm like, I need to talk to more adults and maybe date more. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, so he- so basically all it is, is there's a lot of people online in your area right then. And it tells you, it pops up with who's online. Like it actually shows Ooh. you if they're active. Yeah. So it's interesting. On so, Tinder. On Tinder. So his, so this guy, after going through a sea of, ugh, this, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's a technical said, term. Ugh. Ugh. Um, this guy, he's 34. His location, he, he wrote electric boogaloo. <laughs> um, uh his his name is whatever stacy said jerry mark well, jerry m <laughs> okay so we're gonna call him canoe jerry m okay canoe so, jerry m Bing. and his description of himself is i i'm a real dream boat <laughs> barnacle free and promise i'm not a rowboat <laughs> looking for friends maybe mm, or <laughs> Stop no, it. <laughs> no, no dry conversations, please. Don't be a douche canoe. <laughs> Don't be a douche canoe. His first picture is a dog sitting, a, bra- a chocolate lab sitting in a green canoe. <laughs> then his, then his, his next picture is a lineup. I don't know if my phone will actually like pick this up. Nope. No. Nope. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a sunset. It's beautiful. <laughs> Um, it's, it's like six canoes all in a row. And then a little caption underneath that says, I'm on the left. And, <laughs> and then the next. Which is um, hilarious because people do that with group pictures all the time. It's like, why what? you got a picture of six people right. on it? If this is your profile. Like, I get it. You want us to know that you have friends, but like also stop. Like, <laughs> right. Then you have to learn to take more selfies. It's hard. Um, so then he has a picture of a canoe in like the winter covering, you know, and, and it's like half off. And then the caption says Oblig- obligatory shirtless pick. <laughs> ah! so I swipe right because this is so funny. Like, <laughs> and we masked, which was even funnier. And <laughs> I mean, so, he has nothing to lose on his end from, like, people right? he swiped on. So he, I said, fantastic profile. And then he responds with, thank you. I hope it made you want more. <laughs> more. And I said, I'm, fa- I'm a fan of being punny. That's for certain. Are you on here for the boat humor? Or are you looking to canoe dull? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> We talked for an hour and a half in only boat puns. Whoa. <laughs> like, what? I wish, I wish I had, I have screenshots of it all on my freaking phone. So <laughs> I, I wish I had the whole conversation to tell you, but it was like, um, like, like, like 
I don't know boat terminology, so I Googled boat puns. And then it, <laughs> it was like, I was like, I like big boats and I cannot lie. Come and, on. <laughs> Stuff like that. I was like, kiss my mast and like just non stop boat puns. So then he's like, he, he's like, he's, he said something about, God, I wish I had it, guys. Um, he said something about how he, uh, he, 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 he wanted to check out the schematics of my, of my ship, um, and see if there was enough room in the cargo hold. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, what? And I was like, I mean, because I'm assuming he's talking about my butt. That is like, the classiest know. request for nudes that I've ever heard in my life. Oh, right no, there. I, that is, that's exactly what that was. That's amazing. Right? And I said that I was like, oh, my cargo, hold, my cargo hold's not that big. But, like, <laughs> but, I'm, but, but you'll have a whole of a time. Stop it. <laughs> so then he's like, he's like, do you want my manufacturer's number? Oh my gosh. And then I was like, what are we doing here? Listen, <laughs> can you? I was like, listen, can you? I've had a lot of boats listen, that, said they can, that said that, that, that they're sea ready, but then they spring a leak before we get anywhere. <laughs> like, it was so much fun. So then he goes, tell you what, here's my manufacturer's number. It's his phone number. And he's like, I'm going to leave it in your hands. <laughs> The thing ah. is, dude, first off, he's super funny. Secondly, all of the grammar and spelling was correct. Okay, sir. He's an so oceanographer. Now, <laughs> so now I'm just like, first off, I hope he doesn't think I know anything about boats, because I freaking don't. Like, <laughs> But would you be open to... Yeah, oh, yeah, let's let go boat stuff. Yeah, sure. Let's go boat stuff. Go. What did you say a couple weeks ago? Sports ball? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so wait, do you know, so in his profile, did it say canoe or did it actually say Jerry in there? No, it says, oh, oh, that was the, um, no, it says canoe and then a, uh, another name, but it's like canoe McRow or something very. Canoe so McRow. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. And then I, I said, I did say something at some point where I was like, I don't even know what your specs are. Like, how am I supposed to know anything about you? What if you can't handle me? And he's like, he goes, oh, I'm six feet. It's fine. <laughs> and Again, like, the boat or him? Like, I, think, I, th I think in our puns, he was the boat. So I think he's six foot high. I, who knows? He could be just talking about a boat. And I'm thinking it's sexual. I don't know. No, he, he was talking about sexy stuff because... <laughs> Okay, I was like, was there a clear distinction yes. on listen? <laughs> the, and then I, so then I sat there and I was like, I don't even know what you named your boat. Like, how, what do I even call your boat? Because I don't even know his name. His name's freaking Canoe. <laughs> I can't, I cannot. And then he goes, oh, you could just call me the Jolly Roger. <laughs> and I was like, does that mean your name is actually Roger? For <laughs> Because well, that's what I think of boat. Like, I think the Jolly Roger is like a famous boat. I was going to ask. I don't know what that is. Uh, no, that's like, the, I've heard of Jolly Rancher. <laughs> that's the technical name of the uh, pirate flag. <gasps> no, no. Get you a Dave. Maybe Let's go so play I, trivia. I, well, literally, I ended the night and I was like, well, I'm going to wave goodbye, but like wave. And I was like, you've given me a lot to plunder. <laughs> plunder. Like plunder, but plunder. I I got it. I got it. Um, Stacy's so upset. Honestly, I'm not upset. I've had in a while, but I posted on Facebook because I was I took some screenshots. I couldn't go too into depth with it because it got a little weird. <laughs> got a little shallow. <laughs> and, <laughs> and um. And, and I posted it on Facebook, and I was like, "How bored are you in this quarantine?" Because I'm flirting with a guy I met on Tinder who's pretending to be a canoe using only boat puns board. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I wonder if he lives in a boathouse. How would you feel about that? Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen the movie Houseboat with Cary Grant and Sophia Loren? I have not. It's amazing. Mm. 
Mm. I would totally Noted. live on a boat. Would you say? I would totally live on a boat. Would you really? That's what I was wondering. Yeah. I'm Although on a boat. Really, I'm on a boat. People don't really live in houseboats, like, in Michigan because it gets too cold. Right. So, then I would move. And I'd be sad without you. Babe! Oh, I just got emotional. <laughs> well, you know, just know a wizard like Dave, and then maybe you can just call in from Florida or wherever you're living. <laughs> oh, yeah, because technology works here so well. Well, and by here, you mean... <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure technology is the same in Florida. I'm like, oh, she meant her. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. Also, oh gosh, me. <laughs> with, um, with who you first started talking about, Nurse Malik, when he kept asking for you to come over, like, all I kept thinking of was Christina Aguilera, come on over. And I'm like, such a good song. Come on over, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Christina. I'm, wow. Wow. I just, so wait, have you talked, so when was the last time you talked to Canoe Jerry? <laughs> um, last night. He left it in my hands. I don't know. I feel like I should text him, but then I'm like, oh my God, what if I get a, what if I get a, oh, oh. <laughs> that's something I said. I was like, um, I was like, I don't want to use this manufacturer's number and then get a bunch of deck pics. That was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> That I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It was, I think uh, you should text him. But what do I say? Or message him or whatever it is you're doing. Look, I'm out of boat puns. So tell him I'm out of boat puns. <laughs> or else I would have messaged you sooner. <laughs> oh, I would have messaged you schooner. <laughs> I used that one already. <laughs> ah! Darn it, now I'm on board. Ah, it happened again. <laughs> we use that one too. <laughs> when we're done, I'll text you the whole conversation and you'll be like, oh my, oh, so many boat puns. <laughs> Honestly, if you, you can, and then we'll do a dramatic reading of it next week. <laughs> you are not going to be comfortable reading any of this. <laughs> Listen, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, so funny. Oh. Do we have time for a VWQ or no? That's a Dave question. Dave! Hello. You know what's funny? Because, like, it lights up when you're talking and it feels like, um, what was that show? Knight Rider with Kit? Like, <laughs> Yes, Michael. <laughs> Sometimes Stacey's back <laughs> very young and other times you bring up, like, freaking David, David Hasselhoff TV shows. Like, hey, there's nothing wrong with remembering the Hoff in his prime before the cheeseburger yeah. on the floor days. Like, let's, let's remember, I don't let's remember the good Hoff. Let's, let's remember the good Hoff. I don't even know, I don't even know what cheeseburger on the floor is. He got drunk, like real drunk, and then he was eating cheeseburger, and his daughter recorded him, and it went viral. Trying to prove to him how much how much of an alcoholic yeah. drunk dipshit he was. Anybody. And so she posted it online, and oh yeah, it was it was a whole thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Huh. Also, <laughs> just a what I don't not know if, video. <laughs> huh. Also, I feel like I try to see people like in their prime always, but maybe. It's you do. You are so. You are occasionally too positive for your own damn good. That's that's real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's why for I have me. He knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I have you all. <laughs> so I'm. I'm sorry. Why was I summoned? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys are killing me here. <laughs> Daisy has several questions, and she wanted to know if we have time for them. Yeah, go for it. I mean, I'd, all I'm all I'm going to do after this is probably just fire up a chat and drink with people. So yeah. Drink. Oh, it's a bad song. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bad song too. Don't do that one. I know, right? I'm gonna buy you a drink. Oh, In the oh. there we go. Come with me. <laughs> Dave's like. <laughs> Wait, did, I say, did I say Dave's yes? Like, oh, I no, meant the only your failed. theme song. I, I thought that I totally misunderstood. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chelsea, I never told you. So where I work, we did, um, what was it, beginning of February, we did a big team meeting and we had a talent show and myself and my coworker, Frank Martin, totally won it. Frank is a beast. So Frank used to be legit in a band on tour like did the dang thing. He's an amazing guitarist. So we're also like everyone at our company is busy, but 
Frank and I, like we work the same amount, like we work a ton, like all that yeah. works a lot too. And so what was it? We had like a half hour before the talent show to like meet and do stuff. And he also had a couple hours the day beforehand, but both he and I were both working on projects that needed our attention right then. So we only had 30 minutes before the actual talent show to come up with something. So he, he told me yesterday before he left work, he was like, Hey, I'm going to bring in my guitar. He goes, I only know, um, He's just like, I can do an acoustic version of Buy You a Drink by T-Pain. Have you heard of that? I'm like, we're going to win this thing. <laughs> so I'm like, of all songs, it's, I never thought he was going to say that. So I came up with lyrics about our product <laughs> to T-Pain's Buy You a Drink, except it was, I'm going to use the name of our app. And so we crushed it and we won and it made me so happy. <laughs> So yes, I had that in my, I was pretty amazing. Not, because, because we are amazing. Cause my boss was like, wow, you're like talented. I'm like, you're so sweet. Thanks. <laughs> but, um, anyway, you told okay. Me story, but I love that we shared it with our friends. <laughs> I love that you let me share it again. And you also acted in just a surprise. <laughs> so I have at least one, I guess I'll sing it. Virgin with questions. <laughs> Stacy is celibate. By choice. And sometimes she has questions. All the time. So let's boom, go to the beginning of this episode. Um, so, okay, talking about you've made an Italian loaf of bread and Dave said something about thick bread. I don't know what that meant. Well, so it, it could have gone, <laughs> actually, so I was, <laughs> no, so I was actually making a joke about the fact that she said that the bread she made was really dense. And, That's and what it so was. I was I was making a, a thick joke. That was a yeah. I'm thick. Wait, say that again, Chelsea. Because I'm thick. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm listen, sorry, is, I is, didn't is, get it. Is at this all. a term you're not from? Okay. Next. <laughs> listen, because like I know when like if a dude sees like a stacked female, he'd be like, oh, she's thick. But then because it was like dense bread, I was like, oh, are they talking about? But wait, it can be called bread. Wait, I had no idea, so I was just clueless. I think I you just know. went too deep into it. Yeah, you were, you you thought you overthought that one. You absolutely did. See, that's why I need you all. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I don't want to ask. What is this? <laughs> hilarious um, of course it's someone from church saying you know hey like doing prayer I want a prayer request and here I am about to talk about rug burn on someone's business so so okay it's so not, I, guess, I guess I want to take a step like I don't, technically speaking that wasn't really rug burn because no. I mean, is what you get on your knees um but it's more like do you remember like when you were a kid and you would like grab somebody's arm and rub back and forth and Charlie get, Horror, like, like or Indian, oh, Charlie, Indian. No, a Charlie horse was a punch. Like yeah. that was that was with that. It was the sunburn that you gave with the rubbing arms or the rubbing hands. <laughs> <Here's>... this... No, <laughs> all of this is foreign to me. Oh, see, I, I was the, a dude, the... and we were much meaner to each other. That's you know, real. I had two brothers. They did that to me. Yeah, the the best was, yeah. if you could pull off a dead leg, which like there's a spot on like everybody's leg where like if you punch it just right like their entire leg goes numb and like that was the <laughs> ultimate guy thing like if you if you could give somebody a dead leg that was like yeah that, that was the thing <laughs> so easy in general like you need lubrication before you get like skin on skin otherwise that friction can cause aggression and in and, and, and uncomfortable situations on your skin well and more like, like, how like do you not it, stop at that point like that well, was yeah. Thank you. That was that was part B to my question. <laughs> it's like like you know I got some thick thighs, so like if I'm not careful, that chubby rub will kick in real quick, and then like that skin is super super angry. That's essentially what happened. That's why my reaction was, "You need some lube, dude." Like he was chafed is what we were looking for. Yeah. Ah, I mean that makes sense because with with what I know about sex, <laughs> is that there is you know like it's a smoother. Like, yes, you have some type of fluid, type of aid. Lubrication. Yes. Yeah, but so. I mean, the hand is not a secreting body organ, so. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Get you a Dave. Um, so then, like, do, so, because I don't know, do you specifically need lubricant for that, or can you just use regular lotion? 
I mean, technically speaking, I mean, you don't need anything if you're not going to overdo it like that whack job, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> I mean, it... <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, you know, it, I mean, he it, he was dealing with a number of issues. I mean, so he's already like he's got the present thing. He's dealing and with alcohol. Uh, uh, the failure to launch thing. Uh, he's dealing with right. you know, a, a number of different issues there. So it was probably one of those things where he really probably should have realized early on that he was uh, beating a dead horse as it were. And that nothing good was going to come of it, so to speak. Uh, and, and, and so uh, he should have thrown in the Dave, towel. you have boat puns? <laughs> Seriously, Chelsea has boats. Dave has those jokes. <laughs> I will be here praying per usual. <laughs> Just muttering in tongues over here. It's great. So yeah, uh, yeah. That, that was one of those like there were there was um that that was don't basically your tongue, Stacy. It was a series of unfortunate events as well. <laughs> it said, "Don't mention your tongue." <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I thought she said guns. I was like, "Oh, we did flex earlier." No, it's not what she said. Um. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What you said, Dave, because he had a lot of layers going mm -hmm. on and probably didn't process that. And if antidepressants do in fact cause that to happen, and oh, they absolutely he was can. Drunk, yeah. yeah, and he was drunk. Oh, and you had alcohol on top of that. Yeah. 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 So I was, right. I mean, adding adding bad decision. alcohol to antidepressants in general, terrible decision. Correct. So I feel like perhaps he was just really frustrated, like, oh, it's not working, and then not realizing when to stop, and maybe because he was drunk, and also because of antidepressants, that's why it got to that bad of a shape. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> and didn't want to know. <laughs> oh. You need to know. For some point in your life, Stacey, you need to know lubrication is important. <laughs> noted. It, it, noted. Looking yes. out for you. I appreciate that. What was it? When someone said jackhammering, I was like, Chelsea, what's jackhammering? You're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like he's laughs> danger danger will robinson danger <laughs> i was like this could be fun but this is one of those level one level 10 things <laughs> right i'm at like zero <laughs> like i'm at home plate like oh wow well thank you for the clarification everyone you're welcome that's Steve. That's, that's that's part of the fun <laughs> um, Let me, uh, hit up Amy. checking us out we love you we're in the 200s now which is awesome that's so cool thank you podcast detroit for even giving us a chance and letting us be on your platform it's all it's all fun and games yeah i, I gotta uh, i gotta check and see when your uh your episode with uh dr court Doctor is gonna come yes! out yes he was um, amazing i do believe it's may 11th okay you're right stace Yes. Um, and also, I said it a little bit earlier, but happy birthday, bro. Um, fan favorite, my brother, Matthew. Um, if you think for one second your, your brother just made it through that conversation in the last five minutes. <laughs> he may have. He may have. We'll find out. We'll find out. Listen, he's a busy working man, married, has children, so he'll like fall behind on the episodes, but then just kind of like binge them whenever he gets a moment, so... We shall see. But for the record, happy birthday, bro. May 1st. Hey, we out here. I was supposed to go visit, but hey, we'll just have to do um, it. Is, is his name, by, yeah, his name's Matt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I oh. call him Matthew, but everyone else calls him Matt. Oh, okay. Uh, he was uh, he was watching live for a while. <gasps> you see, isn't he the best? That's why he's the favorite. I always tell him, like, dude, I would have chosen you two out of the two of us. <laughs> Oh, he's oh, I call him Saint Matthew because he's just the nicest person ever. But thank you, Dave. Thank you, Podcast Detroit. Yay. We miss you, Ellen, Randy, and Kate. Yeah. Yes, all of you. Yeah. Um, always feel free to keep up with us at RWIS Podcast on Twitter and Instagram, or Reasons Why I'm Single on Facebook. 
Like I, was, uh, I was just in a side chat with the uh, with the folks that do the Drunken Confession show, and uh, Amy, the one that I was telling you about, <gasps> she's like, oh my god, we have to have you guys, we have to have them on the show, we absolutely have to, so yeah. It's well, true, I will look like, Woo! the whole time. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, yeah. You and Amy will bond instantly over the horror that you feel for the rest of us, that's... <laughs> Great. Yes. Mr. Promise, is it is it that we get drunk and then confessions or? Uh, no, so it's honestly, it's usually like sit around and have a couple drinks and then they have a, uh, like a, like three or four times during the show, they'll pick a question that, you know, hey, you know, what, what you know, like what's the craziest place you've ever had sex? What's the, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and and it's fun. It's, so, I mean, go back and, you know, listen to one or two of them. They're, they're entertaining. Heck yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm down. Hey, Amy. Hey, hey. soon to be bestie. <laughs> Don't tell Chelsea. She gets jealous. Wow. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. I'm Chelsea. I'm Stacy. And this is Who I'm Single. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye.